It's a wonderful spring day here in Oklahoma. Wanted to do a quick little uh, review of a You Can Camp camper. Uh, just got done spending a weekend in this, um, doing some camp out in rural uh, Oklahoma, and uh, took this trailer out and uh, wanted to do a little review. Um, I took out the 590G as a model that we took out. And uh, this is the first time I took one of these out, and I just got to tell you, uh, totally amazed with these things. Um, I was really uh, impressed with how well it tracked on my truck. 80 mile an hour, didn't have any issues with it. Uh, started looking at the trailer. Uh, fit and finish is amazing on the trailer. Uh, kind of equipped with a rack up here. You put your generator, your battery backup power. Um, all kinds of great little features I thought of on this. The frame is a built here in America. Uh, actually at our manufacturing facility in Edmond, Oklahoma. And the frame's on a, uh, not a painted frame, but it is a powder coated frame. Uh, so you got some good durability on that, uh, resisting rock chips and so forth. Um, had some situations where I was a little off camber um, on road. Uh, didn't have any issues with the trailer. The nice big 15 inch tires uh, sucked up the bumps and the uh, off camber really, really well. Uh, didn't need the air conditioning, got to about 35 degrees in the evening. Uh, but uh, they take things, the uh, AC has an outside vent there. I'd kind of like to go over some of the features um, of this trailer. 15-inch um, tires, full-size spare, LED lights. Um, what we're looking at back here, uh, see youcancamp.com. If you have any questions, you go to their website. Uh, this is the galley section. And uh, let me kind of open it up here for you real quick. And uh, for a little bitty trailer... This thing packs a big punch. What we have in here is you have a serving table. If you need to prepare your meals or whatever. You have some shelving up there to put some uh, spices or racks. You got some uh, speakers in there for your radio we'll look at quickly. Uh, 110 outlet. Um, spare tire mount. Um, you have an electric gas range. It's a one burner gas range, comes out, uh, so that works really, really well. I'm going to make sure the locks there. Uh, it actually comes with a refrigerator that runs off of either 110. Right now I have this uh, plugged into my 12 volt adapter in the back. Uh, so while it is uh, on the road being towed, um, it's actually running off battery power on the trailer. Um, it's programmable, so you can set your settings on it. Got plenty of space in there. Uh, I need to clean it out a little bit, but it still looks pretty good. Got a drain in it, so you can drain it out. It slides back in. Um, you know, just the uh, storage in this thing has been really amazing. Got plenty of storage underneath. You can see that's where we keep our power cords and stuff like that. Uh, some things that are pretty interesting is Axel has a true shoreline connector. Right there, uh, so it's not just plugging a 110 in, you're actually plugging an RV type uh, cord into it to get power to it at a campsite if you have one. If you choose to take your uh, satellite dish, you have a way to plug your satellite dish in right there. Um, kind of take a look at the inside of this thing real quick. I tell you, the doors opening and closing, fit and finish. Uh, go ahead and shut this back up. You can just see how nice and tight these doors are. Uh, totally amazing, uh, very well put together. Uh, assembled with marine grade plywood, uh, wrapped with aluminum on the outside, and then uh, very nicely finished up on the inside. Um, LED lights, uh, fire extinguisher, smoke detector, you know, shelves for more storage, a place you can put your TV if you want to, 110, air conditioning, radio that works off of Bluetooth, um, another 12 volt charger. O2 detector and uh, it's kind of like a CertiFit type mattress, um, a memory foam uh, type mattress setup, extremely comfortable to sleep on. Uh, shelf up here over your head, and then you got some more storage shelves down here on the lower part of it. Um, I found myself with plenty of room in the trailer. I was able to sit up if I needed to, get up on my knees, uh, you know, put my clothes on, had plenty of space to move around in here. Uh, comes equipped with an electric fan. Um, turn that uh, remote control right there. Controls your fan up top. 
Uh, one thing that was really impressed on this trailer is the evening I was out, or actually a couple evenings, got down to 35 degrees. Uh, some people will actually run a little infrared heater. They can plug into the uh, 110 there and uh, run a heater in this. Uh, the construction on the trailer is tight. And at a 35 degree night, um, I was able to sleep with just two blankets and uh, stay very comfortable all night long. Um, and if you're looking for a just a neat way to go camping, uh, you don't want to worry about the big RV. You don't want to worry about uh, getting the tent and going up into the attic and you know opening and closing and getting your stuff out of the attic, your tents and setting it up and folding it up and you know all the things that come with tent camping. And this is a great alternative. Uh, you can camp, made right here in Oklahoma, Edmond, Oklahoma. Great company. If you ever want to tour their manufacturing facility, uh, you can just give them a call. They'd love to show that to you. Uh, these are RV Industry Association, RVIA approved, uh, which means it does come with a VIN number, and you can do uh, financing as if it's an RV. Uh, once again, an amazing unit. Um, looking forward to many more trips in one of these. Um, you can camp trailers. If you haven't seen one or uh, want to check one out, give them a call. Uh, they would love to talk to you and answer any questions you might have.